Hey everyone, it's me, Seanasaur. Today I'm going to show you how I migrated my ghost blog onto GitHub Pages using Buster and Static Pages. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to go find the Buster repo. I've got it pulled up already. I'll put a link at the bottom of this video for you to find it easily. So, what we need to do is we need to make sure Buster is installed first. So you should have Python on your computer. You should check and see if pip is installed. Looks like it is. So we need to pip install buster. Then we wait on buster to do its thing. Buster is now installed. Perfect. So after we get buster, we need to make sure we have wget and git. And also homebrew. We're going to want homebrew for these. It makes makes life a lot easier. So, you just check and make sure wget is good and git as well. And then also homebrew. But yeah, you can do that on your own. It's easy to install. Very simple. Very nice. Makes life easier for you. That wasn't a pitch for homebrew. I'm just saying it's handy. Now, we need to go get our ghost code. We go to ghost.org, nice pretty looking hero image right there. Get the code, download ghost. That's pretty cool, it incremented for me, nice. Okay, I've got the ghost code, I'm gonna unzip it. And what I like to do is, I don't really care about the version, I'll just call this ghost and I'll move it to the desktop. Now, We've got Ghost, so let's get over to the desktop real quick and into the Ghost folder. So, oh, another thing we're going to want is NPM. We, we're going to need that install. So we're going to run NPM install in the Ghost folder. This will create our dependencies and basically bundle and get everything ready to go for our ghost blog launch. It takes a few seconds. So you can watch me drink while we wait and drink some more. Hmm. Now we're moving. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but it's doing something, so that's good, right? Oh, I know what that one means. Cool. Okay, we're good. We've got our dependency tree. Good God, man. Anyways, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, now. The easiest way to see if Ghost is working is npm start. Here we go. Okay, we're at localhost 2368. Localhost 2368. Boom. Ghost block. Nothing to it. Alright. Now we need to set up our ghost block. It's up, but this is like the Rails, welcome to Rails page. It's not ready. We can't write anything. We have no way to log in, so we go to the root URL slash ghost. This allows us to enter our title, which is Sean's blog. And I cannot spell my name right sometimes. That's weird. And my email address. And I'll create a password. Now, it gets a little buggy right here. Sometimes this won't actually refresh for me. So don't be alarmed. I've clicked the button. I don't know why this is, but I need to tell Ghost about it. So I usually just go back one. It looks like it worked. And then we just go back to the same thing. And it allows me to log in. I don't know why it does that. I'll have to let them know. Okay. We're officially in our Ghost block. Let's create a test post real quick. Test post 
idle. Get a little markdown sugar going in here. Markdown sugar in here. Okay. Okay. We'll just, that's good enough. Now, we don't want to save the draft, we want to publish it. Saving the draft does nothing. Nothing for us. It's nice if you're actually trying to write a blog, but whatever. We're not, we're not interested in that right now. I don't care what you write. I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay. We got our test post. There it is. So our blog is officially open for business, if you will. Now, there's something we need to do in here before we do anything else. Okay, it looks like we've got an email error. That's fine. We're not too worried about that. We need to shut down the server. We need to open up our text editor. And we need to go to the configuration.js. Now, here's the problem. This right here. I don't want this URL to point there. I don't know what's at myghostblog.com. What I want it to do is where I want it. Okay. And I also do this just because I'll show you in a second. So what this is doing, I know it says development. I, I understand. But what this means is if I send an RSS if, if I go to RSS or email in development, it's gonna try to send it there. I I don't I don't want that. Because what I'm doing is I'm this thing is technically never making it to production. Never. So our development style, the development aspect of our blog is what goes onto GitHub and what Buster uses and what we're basically pushing to our GitHub page. So this doesn't matter too much, not really, because we don't gotta deal with production. This is what we want. So all the links will point here. This is this is good. That's all we need. All this stuff doesn't matter. As far as I know, it, it could matter, but just make sure that's just make sure that this line 35 right here, or whatever line it is for you, is the correct URL where you want your blog to be. All right, we're done with that. We can go ahead and we're gonna have to fire it back up. So let's fire it back up. You probably won't notice a difference unless you try to go to an RSS feed or anything like that, which I don't think this base theme has, so we're good. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look, RSS feed. Oh, boy. Oh, look, that actually linked to my real blog. Huh, how fun. Okay. Wow, I can actually subscribe to that. Anyways. Okay, here we go. We're back. <laughs> now, now for the fun part, the Buster part. So, our ghost blog is still running. We can't shut it down because Buster is going to be looking for that, right? So, what I like to do is back out of that ghost directory and create a new one. And we'll call this Sean's blog. So, what I'm, the reason I'm doing this is so that when Buster runs, it's not using any of the ghost files. It's not mingling with any of the ghost files at all. We've got a totally fresh new directory. Nothing can go wrong, right? Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> okay. So what we want to do is, before we do Buster, we need to go to GitHub. And we need a new repository. Okay, I'm going to call this what I called that folder, Sean's blog. Cool. Fresh repository, no readme, no license, none of that. Don't worry about it. We're going to want this. We're going to come back here, and we're going to run Buster Setup. Now, the first thing it asks us, what's the URL of your GitHub repository? Well, we got that. All set. Cool. So what Buster did is here, check this out. It set up a static page, a static folder for us. And inside that static folder, it gave us a git repository and a readme. Ready to go for us. We didn't have to do anything. We just had to run Buster setup. 
Now we need to go back to the root directory of that, not the git directory, the Sean's blog folder that I created. And we want buster generate domain equals, and then whatever domain your ghost instance right here is running on. Currently, it has to be running. It has to be running. Here we go. Okay, Buster just grabbed everything and turned it into static files for us. Let's take a look. There's not a lot here yet, but once you start writing posts, it's going to grab. It grabs a lot. It'll grab all the images, it'll grab all the tags, it grabs everything. And it sorts it too. Check this out. So we'll go back into that static folder. We've got all kinds of folders now. We've got assets, authors, if it's multiple people writing on your blog, you've got everything you need. It's cool. It's great. Okay, back to this. Now the next thing we want to do is we want Buster to do the heavy lifting for us, kind of. Not really the heavy lifting so much, but we're going to make him work. So we're going to do Buster add domain. And like I said before, this is where I want it. This is where I want my blog to end up. So what this did is it created a CNAME file for us with this URL, the URL that I want to use, the custom URL that I'd like to use for my blog, my static page buster generated blog through GitHub Pages. In order to use GitHub Pages, you have to have a CNAME file in your repository or it's, it won't work. GitHub looks for that explicitly and it has to be this without the HTTP colon slash slash any of that. Now, another fun thing we can do is we can preview what Buster, oops, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong folder. We can preview, did you see that? See how it looks for the static, it knows to go in the static folder. So we can preview this at port 9000 it looks identical, right? It looks identical to this. So they're, they're the same until I shut down the actual ghost instance. 2368 dies. 9000 doesn't because we're looking at static pages now. So we're good. That's perfect. So we're going to go over here and tell Buster to shut down. Then what we get to do is Buster deploy. Now once I hit this, it's going to go straight to GitHub, and our work is done. That's it. We're officially on GitHub. So if I go here, slash Sean's blog, we have a blog now. Yeah, okay. Maybe the, the comment mes commit message isn't what you wanted. You can still... Um, you can still push it to GitHub all you want, however you want, with the commit message, everything. What this does is it makes sure you're on the right branch, and it pushes everything here. Of course, you've got your CNAME, everything like that. I'm not going to test out and make sure this works, because I have a blog already there. But as long as your DNS is pointing towards you.github.io, your username.github.io, your blog should work within minutes, hours, however long it takes. It depends on how good your DNS is. I believe we're done here. So that is how you generate a static blog using Buster and Ghost. No need for Jekyll. Ghost is a nice platform. I've, I've, I've used Ghost since they finished their Kickstarter pretty much. Once they open up to users, I started using Ghost. It's it's beautiful, it's clean, it's not heavy, it's simple, I love it. All you do is get on there and write. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.